guys, welcome back to Zagami Beauty. My name is Krisha. Today's video is super fun. I mean, I'm playing with color, you guys. I used blue today on my eyes. It's a good day because I'm actually super thrilled with this look. I'm gonna be using a bunch of new products that I ordered from MAC Cosmetics during their last loyalty sale, which I think was 25% off. Sign up to them, they're always having these sales, which is fantastic. So I got a bunch of core products that I just don't have in my collection. Something I used to have, which is the Pro Longwear Waterproof Foundation. So I got that in a shade that I think is getting better than before. Two artist palettes. These eyeshadows are awesome. This studio powder, which is in the color gold, sort of this like all over powder ish situation. This is a surprise product. Oh my god, wait till you see what this does. Some lipstick, I don't know, a bunch of stuff. The new mascara in like a sample size. I love MAC Cosmetics. I can't wait to show you guys what these products are all about. I also used a bunch of products that are in my collection already. So it is a full face of MAC Cosmetics to create this really fun, summery, corally, blue lagoon type look. Before we get started, of course, I invite you guys to subscribe, to like this video, let me know down below if you like a little bit more of these longer videos. This one is gonna be longer than my usual videos. Usually I try to aim for 10 to 12 minutes. This might be a bit longer. So what do you guys prefer? Like straight to the point, a little bit more chatty, more detailed, oriented longer videos let me know but don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Sagami Beauty and that is it you guys let's get straight into this haul and full face of Mac makeup because we're using a waterproof foundation I really want my skin underneath to be as plump and juicy and moist as possible so let's go in with some strobe cream I have sunscreen on underneath and then we're just gonna put a dollop of this in gold light just all over, creates a little bit of a dew, just a nice little barrier between the skin and a foundation while still adding some moisture. Next up is the foundation, and I used to use this, especially on holidays when we'd go down south. I had a shade of this, I think it was an NC20, and it was a little bit too orangey, a little bit too dark. Lately, just the neutral tones are the best. For me, the N5, I think. But it doesn't come, I don't think, in like a straight neutral tone. So I did NC18. And this didn't seem as yellowy or orangey. So we'll see how it goes. And I do remember liking this formula when I was down south in hot weather. I wouldn't wear it during the day, but I would use it at night when we would go out for dinner and dancing and stuff. So. Slight pea size. More liquidy than I remembered it being. Okay, this might be too much because already... Oh, it looks quite opaque. Slight, I don't know, not plasticky smell, but it's just that MAC waterproof smell. I don't know how to describe it, so I'm gonna take a little bit of this off. Let's blend this out with a brush. I have a feeling it's going to set fast, so let's work fast. The color is really good. Definitely not too orangey, it's quite neutral actually. This is a new color that they've added to this line. Okay guys, that looks really good. It just looks like my skin doesn't look overly matte. I'm sure it's gonna dry down a little bit. What I'm thinking it's going to do is just create that sort of like film effect on the skin where it just kind of like tacks on. But it's actually really, really nice. And I'm glad I got this shade because I think that's what was wrong when I previously used to use it, it was just the shade was wrong. I'm gonna fast forward now and do my concealer with the Pro Longwear Concealer, set everything a little bit with the MAC Mineralized Powder, do my brows, let's just do this quick. is done brows are done next we have two palettes I already have the nude model love that one so much and then due to the sale I think it was 25% off I got the art library in its designer which is colorful this one in flame buoyant more of an orangey warmer coral toned one I'm not feeling anything too colorful today but let's take a look I wish I could have some like live voting feature 
right now. This is the Flamboyant, very warm toned, easy choice, of course. Let's take a look at this colorful one because I probably should play with a little bit of color, right? And that's that one there. So scary for me, not gonna lie. I feel like I should play with a bit of color. Oh, let's go ahead and try this one. Oh my God, I'm so nervous. Let's just go in maybe and do a quick crease with that shade there. Super nice crease shade, really, really good. This mirror is amazing, you guys. Like, wow, absolutely love the mirror. And this was a good deal for all these colors. I think it was after the sale, 40 something dollars. Super, super good deal and really good quality. Let's just go in with this gold shade and I kinda just wanna use this as a liner on the top. I don't know, we'll see. So let's go in with this gold shade for the top of the lid and I'm just gonna use my fingers and maybe mix it with a little bit of this gold shade too. So those two there. Feel a little bit dry, not like overly creamy. Let's see if I can get more impact with the brush. All right, let's go in and line my upper lash line with this blue. So nervous, I don't play with color, you guys. You know me. Hoping for more of a turquoisey blue, but that's okay. And now I'm getting major fallout because I didn't tap it off. Ah, make sure to tap it off. I think this is a safe way to play with color. And I'm using a MAC 211, which I love. It's sort of like a liner brush, but super pretty for detail work. Ooh, it's starting to look really good. Shouldn't be afraid of color, right? Kind of a pseudo soft wing there. I'm gonna repeat it on the other side. I kind of like that. That's like an easy way to play with color when you're so terrified of color. <laughs> I love it. Let's go in with this shade here in the inner corner, sort of a silvery shade. It's pretty, even though I have quite a lot of warmth above that blue. I don't know, I think it kind of ties it in nicely together. Underneath, I'm just going to warm up that lower lash line. Probably go back in with this palette and use maybe something like that with that together. What I could have done is even just use something like the pink or a bit of the pink and the purple, but we're going over Father's Day barbecue to my parents' house, so let's keep it half tame. I'm going to use this color here for the brow bone. What's the pointillism? These seem like all quite new shades. There's a couple of repeat shades in this palette, but mostly new. I'm just going to darken up that blue just a little bit, make sure that it's there for real, you know? I really like that. Okay, guys, see? I can play with color, anyone can play with color. Mascara's next, and I got a sample of the new mascara from MAC, which is their Magic Extension Mascara. It's a fiber mascara that promotes five millimeter fibers to create that bushiness, thickness. They're claiming you don't have to use falsies if you use this mascara. I did a quick little reel on my Instagram channel, so definitely go onto my Instagram to see that, but you're gonna see it now anyway, so. That's all good. I do like it. I'm not a big fan of fiber mascaras, you guys, and I don't know if anyone that wears contact lenses can relate. Fiber mascaras and Angora sweaters are the enemy for me. But when I tried this the other day, I was prepared to potentially take it off right afterwards, and it's really good. It doesn't move. Once it's on, it doesn't move. Once you wash it, though, of course, you get slight little fibers coming off. It doesn't budge. It's really, really really good. We'll do two coats. I find three coats I did this morning before I washed everything off to film. It was like slightly too heavy in my opinion, so we'll do two coats. It is a natural bristle brush, so I didn't show you guys. You can see it has slight fiber sticking out of it when you look up close. You can tell it's already creating that lengthened effect. So that's the eye look in the mascara. It's really impressive. And only two coats. Like I said, three's really pushing it. It felt quite heavy this morning when I wore three coats. I'm super impressed, you guys. I feel like 
MAC really needed to up their mascara game. They actually had one that I really loved with the stubby little brush and it had like that typical MAC lipstick bullet packaging. I forget what it was called, Upward Lash maybe? I loved that mascara and it got discontinued and I just feel like since then, the extra dimension to me isn't that great. I think that's what it's called. I don't love it that much, but this one, yeah, they've really, they've really done a good job with this. Okay, let's go in with a quick contour. I'm gonna use nothing new. This is my contour palette from MAC, still available in their main collection. I'll just kinda just use all three shades and just do, 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 do. I just love my cosmetics. I know I talk about it a lot. I just feel like they have everything and most of the stuff in their line is just top notch. Now on top of it, they have sales all the time, 25 to 30% off if you're a loyalty member. It's just, I don't know, it's just too good. I love this brand. Perfect, just creates a little bit of a shadow. Okay, next up is blush, and I hope this isn't too dark, but it looks so pretty on the product page with the model that was um, showing it off. Extra dimension blush and hard to get. I love this formula because it has a slight sheen to it, and it's quite buildable. It's not overly pigmented right off of the get-go. This color looks really, really bronzy, you guys. Like, ooh. Let's see how it goes. My Dior blush brush. Again, there's usually no kickback on these because they're sort of like a baked product, but oh, it is kind of dark. Oh no. Let's see if we can blend it out. Oh, it might look a little bit muddy on me. I think the undertone is what I wanted, like a very bronzy look, but it might just be a little bit too muddy. Let's go with a synthetic brush. This is the MAC 168, but in the synthetic version. And let's see if it's a little bit smoother. No, it's just super muddy. This is not for me. So if you have fair, light, light, medium skin, way too muddy, like way too muddy. Look at that, it doesn't look good. But it's okay, we'll blend it out with some bronzer, it'll be fine. I kind of wanted that sort of sunburnt look, you know? I'm gonna swatch it and see, but yeah, it might be a nice eyeshadow, but it's too dark for me. Oh well, you win some, you lose some. Let's go with bronzer and see if we can just blend this all out. MAC in Give Me Sun. It's a baked mineralized formula. I actually really don't mind that once it's blended out because it is giving me sort of that like sunburnt look. Like it's literally looking like my cheeks are sunburnt. And my concealer is probably a little bit too light. It was in NWNC15, which is too light for me, but I couldn't find my darker pro long wear. So that's what it is too, is that I'm looking a little bit too light under the eyes, but it's actually not bad because it does look like I have a slight burnt effect. So I'm just gonna have to figure out a way to maybe blend it out a little bit better, play with maybe a different type of brush because I do like the overall effect. This is what I wanted. I wanted that slight sunburnt effect. So it did give me that, but we'll see. Let's go in and highlight Extra Dimension Skin Finish in Double Gleam. This is usually a little bit light as well, so it might lighten things up. All right, let's do a lip. I'm going to use the MAC Lip Liner. This is in Strip Down. Slightly warm shade, but still enough neutrality that you can use it with either warm toned or cool toned lipstick, really. Okay, lipstick, this was in the 40% off goodbyes section. This is going to be in Little Buddha, and it's a cream sheen. It might be discontinued, it might have been just older packaging, so I think the newer packaging has like the color like on top, but it's a really, really peachy, vibrant shade, which I think will look really nice. I think it'll kind of go together. Ooh, that's really pretty. I really like that, but you know what, you guys, I forgot a product. I forgot to use this all over powder. So it's a Studio Finish Powder in gold. And I feel like this is not available in stores. It was like kind of a pro product-ish. And it's supposed to be their loose powder, the Studio Powder, but it has a slight iridescence in it. Let's peel it off. I'm just gonna swatch it a bit. Yeah, so it has a quite beautiful, sheeny gold effect. This could look really pretty on the skin. I'm gonna take a little bit. Let's just put it all over. 
loose powder, so a little bit of kick off. Let's see if this does anything. I don't know. <sighs> you guys, this just gave my skin the most beautiful iridescence like borderline golden tin man. I think it's definitely doable. It's like you're in some sort of like sultry club in Rio. You don't care that you look absolutely sheeny and shiny because you can't help it. It is so hot that that's just what happens. I'm setting a picture because this is like, wow. I am so impressed. This is a NYX sort of like powder brush. Let's go in. Ah, it's a highlighter, but I think it can be used all over, but it is a highlighter, I think, in essence. For going out, for like date night, party night, using this all over just creates the most beautiful sheen effect. And then nighttime lighting or like restaurant lighting will really bring out how pretty and dimensional this is. Daytime, probably too harsh. I'm probably gonna have to take this off for Father's Day barbecue, let's be honest here. But I think this is so pretty. Like, look how sheeny that is. I really hope it's picking it up. Oh, that was so much fun. I am so smitten with this eye look. It's just so easy, but I'm wearing a pop of color, and I think it looks absolutely wearable and fun, especially for summer. I could easily take the same crease colors, so just those golden colors, and then any of the bright ones as a liner effect, and it's so easy, but a really, really fun, fun way to add color when you're afraid of color. Love this palette, so beautiful. I love these artist palettes. I think they're a really good price, especially if you get them on sale during one of their loyalty program sales. Mascara is absolutely awesome. I am gonna be purchasing the full size. Love this foundation. This foundation beats out the Estee Lauder Double Wear for me. I have that on the go and I haven't been enjoying it. I just repurchased it because my other one was going, starting to smell bad. I'm just not enjoying it. I feel like this just gives a little bit more of a natural skin texture. It still sort of feels flexible versus the Double Wear just kind of like whoop, it's on there, but a little bit too drying in my opinion. For someone with a little bit more of a drier skin type or combination like I do, or my cheeks are a little bit dry, I still think the Pro Longwear Waterproof Foundation is better than the Estee Lauder Double Wear. It's all under the same Estee Lauder umbrella, but the formulas, they're not the same obviously, and I would go with this one over, over the Double Wear in my opinion. Gosh, this like all over powder, this studio powder in gold, it's a really, really beautiful surprise. It's not a product I've ever seen in stores. So I do believe it is available online only. It just blended everything with a sheen. And I think for summertime, for going out, I wouldn't be afraid of that powder. Maybe daytime might be a little too much for some people. Summer nights, vacationing, absolutely stunning. So glam, like it instantly takes your look to like glam, shiny, ethereal effect. The blush is amazing, but a bit dark. Lipstick's awesome. I absolutely love all of these products. The blush I think is just a little bit too dark for me, but otherwise it is it is fine. Um, the patchiness from it, I think, is just because it is too dark. I really do. Other than that, you guys, thank you so much for joining me today for a full face of MAC products that are all available, other than maybe the Little Buddha lipstick because that was in the goodbye section. I hope you liked this really quick, beautiful, bronzy, sunburned skin, shiny, club and real look, and I will see you guys in my next one. Oh, don't forget to subscribe. Okay, ciao. <laughs> Bye.